Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. My name is Kevin. Well today is the day that we're going to head outside to cut the pig that we butchered into the primal cuts. Uh, I'm glad uh, that uh, you guys are along. We've gotten so many positive comments uh, from so many of you saying that, you know, this has given you the confidence to hopefully try doing pigs yourself uh, maybe next year. And so that's, that's what it's all about, is all of us trying to kind of help each other. And we're glad that you guys are following along as we learn this process and in turn try to pass some of that on to you. So let's head outside to the greenhouse and we're going to get busy cutting this thing up. Well, we've let the pig rest overnight down in the barn. We had it hanging. The low last night was in the teens, so the meat is good and cold. Uh, we moved it now into uh, our greenhouse slash butcher shop. <laughs> and uh, today we're going to cut it into what's called the primal cuts. Uh, which is basically the shoulder area, the ribs and belly area, and then the uh, back, the uh, hams and the loins. Yeah. So um, we're going to get going. We've got both sides we're going to do today. Um, and then it's going to go back into the refrigerator uh, and we're going to let it rest for probably four or five days before we cut it into pork chops and all of that. So. Um, today is just getting those big pieces cut down so that we can get it in the fridge. So the first thing we're going to do is flip it over. We're going to start by taking off the shoulder area and we're going to do that by cutting between the second and third ribs. So here's the second and third ribs. We're just going to cut and we're going to cut all the way through and then we're going to flip it back over. And then we're just going to cut this. And we'll have to get the bone saw out here in a minute. But we're just going to cut through all the meat first. You really don't want to use your bone saw to cut meat. As soon as you're through the bone, you want to stop and go back to using your knife. There you go, and that's the shoulder. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is remove the mid section here. Uh, we're gonna do that, we're gonna cut this belly. Up, so we can get that out of the way. Now, we do wanna remove, before we do too much more cutting, we're gonna remove the tenderloin here. Technically that's not a primal cut, but you do want to get that out of there because you don't want to risk wasting that. That is a great piece of meat. And that just kind of comes off on its own here. There, that's one of the tenderloins. There's one on each side. All right, and now we'll cut through and we're gonna take off uh, the ham. And uh, oh, there's a roast here on the side.
we go. That is a nice ham right there. All right, so now that we have the uh, ham off, we're going to go ahead and cut uh, where our belly uh, connects to our back. So we have this, the piece where we'll get our pork chops and we have our belly and spare ribs. You can see we're gonna cut here, but this, and this is one of your pork chops right here. We cut ours really thick when we cut them. You don't get as many, but man, they're good. So uh, there's a little bit of fat right here on the inside. We're just gonna cut off so we can see a little better. That will go in our lard pile. All right, so we're gonna basically cut a straight line And this is where, again, where your chops and, and all of that is. So first we'll cut what we can with a knife. And now we'll use the bone saw to cut through these ribs. And just like your other cuts, you know, you want to make sure you're just cutting through the bone with the bone saw and then switching back to your knife. Sometimes easier said than done. Alright, so look at this. This right here, that's your bacon right there. Look at that. That looks amazing. And all of this, once it's cold, we'll be able to cut it real thin. And that's what we'll cure. I will cure it and then we'll cut it and it'll just be perfect bacon. So I'm excited. I've never made my own bacon before. Um, been watching lots of videos on it. So I'm excited to try it out here coming up. Uh, after things slow down a little bit. All right, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna move all of this over to our other table and we're gonna do the same thing with the other half and then we'll bag it all up and we'll get it in the refrigerator. And again, we'll let it rest for probably four or five days. All right, so here it is. This is one pig cut up into the primal cuts. Uh, we've got the two shoulders here. We've got the uh, bellies uh, with your spare ribs, uh, the two tenderloins, the two uh, back legs, the hams, and then the two uh, loins, which is where your uh, pork chops are. So there you go. You can see what you get off one pig. Um, we're so excited to have these going into the freezer. Uh, we're gonna bag this all up. I wanted to show you guys what we use because we got some questions about it on our last video. Uh, we just use these multi-purpose, I mean, they're basically garbage bag, 30 gallon garbage bags uh, from Walmart and they're just unscented i mean nowadays it's like getting really hard to find garbage bags that aren't scented with some crazy chemical smells uh, but these are just cheapies i think this box is like four four dollars but they work perfect for putting big pieces like this in the refrigerator um and then we'll just end up throwing them away so um we're gonna get this all bagged up and put into the refrigerator where it'll rest for several days all right, there it is, all bagged up, ready to go in the fridge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing, uh, you know, what you get from one pig when it's cut up like this. Uh, we'll be doing another video down the road in just a few days about how to actually now cut it into, you know, the usable pieces that will go into the freezer. So, you guys, if this is your first time visiting our homestead, I hope that you'll hit that subs subscribe button before you leave. Don't forget to share this on all your social media. Uh, so that everybody can see, uh, you know, where your food is coming from, how to raise it. Uh, we hope that you will start raising some for yourselves. Until next time, you guys, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.